how many questions you have um, in about 45 minutes or so here once we get through a little bit of a spiel here. Um, so real quick, get to the next slide. So jump right in, uh, ABC4, Nexstar, who are we, what's going on? ABC4 is actually the first privately owned commercial television station in the US. Um, and that nowadays it's a pretty common model. Most TV stations are owned commercially or owned by a media group. Uh, very few are owned by the networks as you see ABC, NBC, Fox, things of that nature. Um, so while we're an ABC affiliate, um, we pay to hold that, that uh, standard and then we carry their content. But we're actually owned by a group called Next Star Media. They bought us in 2012. At this point in the game, uh, in the last year or so, a lot of things have changed. Next Star is now the nation's largest local broadcaster. We have 198 TV stations across the country, 116 markets uh, out of 210 TV markets, so that's significant. And we actually are responsible for about 68% of all TV US households, so we're big. What does that really mean? Well, what it means in a large scale, it's a great place to have a career because you can go wherever your life takes you. Uh, very simply, I'm from Wisconsin, grew up there, and they brought me here about six months ago and said, hey, we want you to help rebuild ABC4. So could you come out to Salt Lake City? And at the same time, San Francisco and Columbus, Ohio was talking to me. I chose Salt Lake. But you have all these opportunities throughout the country that you can really be a part of, um, which is just an exciting place to be. Um, it's also fully uh, committed to building digital success. So to that point, to introduce me, um, kind of like a little tease and going in the inter introduction. Uh, my name is Josh Rose. I'm the director of digital news and operations here at ABC4. And my job is to make sure all the content you guys get on your phone, social, website, whatever, is of the, the highest standard, the highest quality, and is delivered to you fast. And that's really where Nextstar is moving towards. Is in, because of that, there are a lot of opportunities in digital. And to kind of go with that, it's important to understand, um, in the old regime, a lot of people would come into digital as a stepping stone to get to broadcast. That's no longer the case. I'm, I don't know, I don't want to speak on your behalf, but... Many people don't really, at least our younger, aren't watching full newscasts anymore on TV, right? We get our news from our phone in some capacity. I work in TV and I can't tell you the last time I watched a full broadcast, right? So that's just how digital news is evolving. Um, and to show how much of a change, it is an important medium just of its own. It's no longer the broadcast. It's an entire industry on itself to the point where the shift is so strong. Next star about a year or so ago, said they're going to move 20% of all of the newsroom staff to digital exclusive positions. Not adding new bodies, not change, but saying, hey, 20% of the staff, move them over to digital because this is where everything is going. And that's just the start of it, right? So there's a lot of change happening. The great part of being in digital and you are on that, you are on that front line of change, which is really exciting. You can be right there as the industry is moving. Now, yes, digital news isn't necessarily new, but in its current space, it somewhat is in its infancy. There's so much change and so much evolution. So if you're looking for a dynamic thing where it's different every day, this is a great place for that. Um, and, and in a more uh, personal way, there are very few careers that impact such a large group of people on a daily basis in digital news. Literally, what you do, the words you write, will impact thousands and thousands of people per day. And some of the people are a bit aggressive. We know how social media works. Um, <laughs> you eventually grow numb to that. Uh, but, but the point is, is you're the ones responsible for being the voice of the community. You tell stories that impact their decisions and their lives on a daily basis. And it's so important to, to be unbiased, to have no agenda, and just to deliver the news, the facts as they are to help people make the most informed decisions in your own community, which is pretty awesome. Now, other people are driven by different things, which takes me to my next point. Digital news is very much performance-based, okay? Very much performance-based. Uh, our top-line team goals are all centered around data. Are we growing our audience, all right? And that's where this can become a lot of fun, is you see Google Analytics. We use it on a daily basis. We go through what are your page views, how many, are, what users are you attracting, things of that nature. What's your word count? How are they responding to it? Pages per session. Uh, time on page, bounce rate, all of these things we talk about on a regular basis. And the great part of that is as you learn and mold into it, it really sets you up for any career you want to do down the line because you will learn how to be strategic and competitive in the global digital space while at the same time making you just a juggernaut of a digital contributor. Uh, it is very competitive. So we want to be the first ones to get the news delivered to you, to you specifically. Uh, but so does our competition. Uh, news is competitive. 
Deseret us, and that's why I was joking. If you may have seen joking with the the, the lady with Deseret a little bit ago, uh, Deseret ABC Four KSL. We're all in competition with each other to deliver you the news the fastest as we can, um, and it's it's playful, it's professional, it's fun, um, but it does make it uh, it does make it kind of fun to do it. Very much strategic. Your story doesn't end just at the copy. What's your distribution plan? Have you packaged your content with SEO best practices? Is it engaging? Things of that nature. We talk about with every story. Um, and unique enterprise t- storytelling. And on the left uh, of the screen, at least my left, uh, that little screenshot, this is one of the features that we see. This is our homepage. I can see right now, well, this is a screenshot, of course, the map right now, but we can do headline testing. So I can see right now the top story has a green three on it. It tells me on our homepage, this story is the third most clicked story on our homepage so that we can determine where to rank it, where to move it, what to do to put it on the homepage. Um, you know, what is the best headline? We can test different headlines on that page. It becomes a lot of fun to, to play with. Tools used daily. We use Google Analytics on a daily basis, Chartbeat, CrowdTangle, Google Search Council, and then there's some other less prominent methods that we do. Story discovery. How do we find all these stories? TweetDeck, uh, you may obviously be familiar with. CrowdTangle with Facebook and Instagram, that's fantastic. Uh, mobile apps, we'll use the partners in the competition, things of that nature. Um, and then a few different national feeds that we'll get some support from. Daily, uh, our media touches live streaming, video, mobile apps. Essentially, everywhere you get news that's not on your TV, that's my team. That's what we do, which is just, it, it's a lot of fun. You're, you're fully in the landscape of where your demographic and your range are to get the news. You are the ones delivering it to, you, to them. Uh, types of stories, we call some, uh, there's two different types of stories. There's flips and then there's long forms. The flips are stories like your fires, your crime, your weather, your politics, the things that take a little bit less than 45 minutes to write typically. And then your long forms, where you get a bit more enterprise. Um, there was a big Taylor Swift article about her going back and forth with uh, the Evermore place. That was when our story did really strong nationwide. It took on a life of its own nationally. Um, science, tech, there's a, a company that started out with BYU there um, that launched technology into Mars to help create oxygen uh, a few weeks ago. And we wrote that story. So we're right in the front lines of everything going on in Utah. For local news. So what, school, what skills do you need? Um, strong writer with attention to detail. That's very important. Um, are you a strong writer? So AP style, and a lot of these things can be trained, but this is kind of the ideal thing, right? Uh, attribu- attribution, uh, protecting against libel, voice. Uh, when you write, when you talk, can I hear your voice in the writing? Without, of course, editorializing, but can I see a style in your writing? Um, and then speed. Self-starter, we need people that take initiative. Um, if you know, if I have a story to tell you about, if I tell you there's a story going on, you're likely behind. So it's it's why it's being right on the cusp of everything going on in news. Um, and there is a high degree of autonomy. I got my team trained and we're literally Microsoft Teams right now and they're just doing their thing. In the morning, we set up the day and they work. Um, and I'll jump in when I need to, but they know their team orders and they go to town. There's, there is a high degree of autonomy. Um, competitive, are you a top author at the station? Uh, you should want to be. So we can see your page views on the author level and we talk about it regularly. Uh, this was our top author yesterday. She got 40,000 page views by herself. You know, things like that, uh, which is just a lot of fun to do. You're not in competition with the team. It's important to know. You're in competition with yourself. Can you expand your readership? And an incredibly important point to that, I want to say, is that you're not... The way that we measure our success is growing our audience, but it's important not to dilute the importance of the storytelling in that. So for, for the writers, the way that they contextualize it, is they call it, you know, their growth in the readership. The whole reason you get into journalism is to have impact on the community. And the more readers that you gather and the more people see your content, the more of an impact you are having, the more successful you're having as far as impacting the community. So I say page page views, you guys can say um, growing my, my audience, right? Uh, so an insatiable desire to grow and learn is very important because digital news and strategy changes daily, which is a lot of fun. If you're bored or if you plateau in your career, that's basically only on you. It, there's so much happening that changes on a regular basis if you seek it. And being coachable and flexible, uh, being willing to take constructive criticism and grow. It's fun because it always changes. Um, you must be you know, willing to change tomorrow what you did today if the industry demands it. It's just it's constantly evolving. So how do I start? Here we go. I got two positions open right now. Uh, I'm looking for a digital editor. Um, and you can see those online. If you go to our abc4.com, there's a little jobs tab, click on that and then search Salt Lake City. 
there and you'll see a couple of the digital positions. I'm looking for an editor and a distribution producer. That's someone who proofreads our content and then you're connected to actually distributing it out to our audience. So then you're measured in like homepage views and things of that nature. And then a digital reporter, this is typically a position of experience, but if you're a strong writer and you have really unique storytelling ideas, exceptions can be made in that case. And typically we look for about three to four, two to three-ish long form stories.